Um, John, what's going on with our friends over in the Philadelphia area? I would like to know exactly what they're thinking with their uh, their money uh, because Byron Maxwell thing uh, over to the Dolphins and then uh, I, what are they and then they got rid of Marco Murray. You're get you're getting rid of everybody. What are you guys doing over there? I hope that I hope that you know there's a rebuilding process that you guys have a foundation to stand on right now because it seems like what happened was there's a uh, you know for every construction sometimes you kind of have to like knock down the entire establishment right and you got to start from the ground up and yeah, it looks like that's that what they're doing right now well that's what howie roseman is doing uh um, basically he, he's trying to get rid of chip kelly's guys it seems like and uh sp- speaking of free agency let's talk about the eagles first and foremost the eagles signed uh quarterback chase daniel the backup to uh, uh the backup at kansas city sorry For, uh, alex smith yeah, the backup to Alex Smith to a three-year uh, deal where $21 million with $12 million guaranteed. Now, this contract, to me, doesn't make all that much sense because you signed your backup quarterback to a longer-term deal than you did Sam Bradford, who's projected to be your starter going into the next year. Now, I don't know that much about Chase Daniel. He played. He's a backup. He, he's a well, that's what I do. And your know. coach loves. That's him. what I do know. <laughs> yeah. about. That's what I do know about him. I mean, I mean, he's a he's got to be Doug Peterson's guy. That's yeah. why. That's why you you got him. I mean, I'm sure Doug Peterson was whispering in Howie Roseman's ear, like, "Hey, bring this guy over." Of course. Of course. Every coach has got to have somebody that he can say is his guy. Do you know what I mean? He needs his staff. He needs his players. You basically owe it to him. So this makes me think, I wonder, are we going to see more ownership coach problems? Because is that what that looks like? Are we seeing another RG3 situation where the owner wants Daniel Snyder all those years, wanted RG3, and none of the coaches did? Is that what's going to happen in Philly right now again? I hope so, as a Giants fan. What do you think, Sean? I I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I mean, I've never really liked Howie Roseman, personally. Um, I mean, he's kind of a weasel. I mean, he, he (laughs) he did do some good things with getting rid of Byron Maxwell and Kiko Alonso. Uh, the DeMarco Murray thing, I'm still – I'm waiting for DeMarco Murray to go down there to Tennessee and tear it up. I'm just – as an Eagles fan, this is how I think. Yeah, I got you. Uh, but keeping with the Eagles – Yeah, because uh, he'll have Bishop Shanky, uh, Sankey with uh, his as a second – down like you know second back there there that'd be a nice duo like a one a one b type thing yeah it's a nice uh it's nice combo. true 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 but good go point on, good point um but actually going back to the chase daniel thing what chase daniel could end up being though i don't think he's going to be your starter at least i hope not but what he can be is if sam bradford with the with the deal that he got and if he doesn't play well this that the other thing he can be your bridge into your next franchise quarterback with that deal. Uh, keep it with the Eagles. They also signed safety Rodney Mikliad to a five-year deal for $35 million with $13 million guaranteed. Now, he was an undrafted free agent. He signed with the Rams back in 2012. I got his stats up in front of me. He's had 245 tackles, five interceptions, eight forced fumbles, 18 uh, pass deflections and one touchdown. Now, that's going to help the Eagles out a lot at free free safety. They haven't had a free safety in a long time. So that definitely helps out that Eagles secondary. And going into the next year, I think the Eagles are going to have a pretty solid defense. All right, well, keeping it with free safety, what do you guys think of Deshaun Gibson, uh, the the free safety out of uh, the Browns? You guys know anything about him? He is a solid player. Now, the Giants have been throwing around money like it's nothing. I don't think they can go get him anymore. But wherever he lands, he is a phenomenal player. Young guy, never injured. Do you know anything about him? 
With the Browns no. on the D. All no. right, the, the Browns got a lot of uh, players, actually, on that defense who are solid guys. Keep an eye out for them. Look for uh, that safety. He's going to be getting signed. I bet you uh, by Monday he will, he will have a deal. All right, how's everybody doing out there today? Thanks for tuning in to this special edition Voice of Bedlam podcast. If you want to take that next jump with your business or company, you need to come over and advertise on the Voice of Bedlam podcast. Get your ad heard by thousands on a reoccurring basis. Just click buy now and send us your info. Thanks a lot, guys. 